Hey, welcome back to the channel. We are out to the farm today. Got a little special tr treat preview, I want to call it. Um, I don't know if you can see in my shirt here, but my friends in New York, Mark and Dave, are pretty pretty cool dudes. But anyways, they they've kind of helped out with these this merchandise idea and uh, have sent me a few ideas. I don't know. This is actually my son Jacob's design here. If you can see that. And then this here looks like the hood, you know, of a Minneapolis Moline. Say, you know, you know G1900, that, you know, Vista, all them. And then on the back of the shirt, I don't know if you can see or not, but I'm, I'll do it on somebody else. List the models. Here, you want to turn around, Pop? Say, hey. Yeah, sure. Anyways, yeah. Look at this. Look at this model here. Well, anyways, I don't know how well it's picking up, but you know, it starts out from the JT all the way to the 955 and 1355 uh, years they were built. Um, you know, on how many horsepower, this and that. You know, they did a little bit of research. Uh, this this was their idea. Awesome, I love it. What do you think, Nick? It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, right. And this is another design they did too. Uh, Jake is modeling for me. Oh, look at that. You know, only that. I don't think this one has anything on the back other than dirt. Anyways, oh, yes. And uh, some of my favorite family models right there. But uh, I don't know what you guys, what do you guys think? Uh, of course, I like the yellow. And I don't know what combination we, we, we'll do. But we're, we're getting there on the merchandise. We're in the beginning stages um, thinking about it. But again, thanks to Mark and Dave. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't I can't say enough good or, or yeah I can't say enough good about those guys that's what I'm trying to say but anyways since we're near the the shark which is my dad's 1967 u302 diesel um, I do get questions quite often about the history of it why is it why is it gray this and that other things and uh, so maybe we'll get some answers from the horse's mouth as much as we can so huh yeah, he's he's neighing over here, you know, like a little Shetland pony. <laughs> I guess that's better than a mule or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Right, anyways, so we'll set you up right there. All right, Dad, tell, tell us the story. What when was this bought? By grand, Grandpa bought it brand new, and what year? I believe it was uh, sixty-eight. Okay. Sixty-eight it, or sixty-nine. Okay. Why don't you stand right yeah, here so okay. you're in front, on All the right. camera? Yeah, I would have been uh, 12, 12, 12 years old. 12 years old, wow. Bought that loader. That's right. And back blade. And yep. he had a snow plow set up on the front of the loader. Okay. Well, I think I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. um, you, you talking about that, I never have seen it, of course. But Then he got a three bottom plow and a 12 foot drag. Okay. Though. 107 lawnmower that come it wasn't come the next year i think okay okay i was thinking that, that he bought that all together but he might have but yep. yeah I didn't. i'll have to look at the receipt i gotta right. find that again I, he bought that in the corn picker i think at the same okay. time okay what model corn picker was that oh boy i used to know 72 weren't they 74 i think 74 72 yeah. something yeah. like that yeah I don't mean to correct my father, but you well, know sometimes right. he needs it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what your mother says. Yeah, no kidding. So, anyways, so what 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 happened? You had to, Grandpa had to get rid of this tractor at that time. Well, we had some engine problems, and I think it was up in the head. There was something that went bad with. Uh, well, they told us it was a bad batch of oil. Yeah. Um, plugged the screens, and she went out, and that was when white was converting all their factories into one, or at least the ones that made the parts for this. So they said it'd be six to eight months before the factory was ready. Mm -hmm. So that's how, you know, it was down. We were running uh, the A John Deere and a 60 John Deere at that time, mm -hmm. you know, doing the farming with it, and he kind of missed his yellow tractor. Mm -hmm. So he ended up with that 900. Okay, so. which we still have, and that's going to get a complete restoration Soon, sooner than later because I, I need to get that done before I get too old. <laughs> yeah, that would have been uh, 70, 
I think the spring of 72 when that come. Okay. Yeah. Right. That was all, it had some hours on, I don't remember exact amount. I, th I think it was around five or 6,000. Either. But it was painted right up, looked like brand new. It repainted. It five, you know, it was only, it's a, it's a late 68. So if it was 72, so it's, you know, three, four years yeah. old, that's a lot of hours on a tractor that young. I mean. Yeah, well, she was, they said they had her on a three row chopper. And the guy did custom Just chop. Custom chop. Okay, all right. So it ran, 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 ran. So I, I understand that. <laughs> that's a three row pull behind chopper. That's nothing compared to the custom guys now. Right. <laughs> you know, there, there's, there's yeah. some pretty pretty big choppers out there, self propelled and. Well, in 72, the corn was tall, but it didn't yield like it does now. Yeah, that's so, and that's yeah. that's true, too. But, yeah, they've come a long ways on genetics, I guess. But, anyway, so, what? Uh, explain, too, there was a mishap before the engine mishap, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in the rear end. That was on Memorial Day, about 1970. It was plowing in the back back of the farm. And he come up over a flat rock, which did not hit hit the tractor, but the plow hit it and flipped it up or tipped the tractor just enough. And there was a a dog that come loose out of the PTO clutch and went through the bottom. Yeah, got caught between yeah. the bull gear and the bottom of the rear end case there. And they took her back down to the dealer and they took her apart. And the guy was a real good welder, and he welded that pieces. We had all the pieces. Okay. Put them right back in there, and it's never leaked, as far as I know. Yep. And that's how come I knew it was it. Yeah, when we when we found it. Because she had again, the scar. So, yep. The wound. All right. It's kind of hard and dark in here, but um, we could get a fl if I had a flashlight, we, I could show you it, it there. So. Yeah. But, so, um, it got traded back in to Ball Equipment in Sandusky, Michigan. Then. Uh, a guy named Bill Dawson bought it, or, or acquired it, whatever. Um, he owned it. And uh, I was talking to uh, that guy last week. Who is it? Uh, who I was talking about in a... Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not, using, I'm not using his name yeah, because yeah, he, yeah, he he's kind of a private individual. Mm -hmm. Well, anyways, he, he said he, he helped work, or he worked on this tractor or uh, helped them too, yeah, or, yeah. or later on. Mm -hmm. um, Anyways, Bill, Bill Dawson has, has passed on. He was known in the area to be a, a a good puller, you know what I'm saying? Of course he's a good puller. He pulled Moline's, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, I think he has, he had some other colored tractors there too. And I don't mean like silver. I mean, um, I think possibly Oliver's or Massey's or, you know, other ones too. I don't think he was totally all Minneapolis Moline, but that, that's beside the point. Um, but anyways, we acquired this from his grandson, um, who was wanted to upgrade some stuff. You know, he's a young, young farmer. You know, and and luckily, you know, everything aligned. And um, I knew one of the oh, he's actually still alive mechanics that worked at Ball Equipment uh, was a friend of Bill Dawson's. Anyways, he he, he got me in the door, and uh, we really only wanted this one, um, but we ended up with four other ones. Um, Anyways, um, and, and he was, the grandson was nice enough too, um, you know, because I don't like to go into debt for tractors. Um, my wife really doesn't like that, so we don't do it. But anyways, so he let me save up. I took two at a time and, well, at the end got one. But anyways, because there was five, um, Dad, and Dad had to buy this one. Um, he, he wouldn't let me, so now I'll just inherit it. Dad, I'm not in a hurry for, yeah, in a hurry for my inheritance. Yeah, well, it could happen anytime. Anytime. You never know. I know <laughs> you never know, but love, okay, let's let's change the subject. Yeah, guys. okay. A little bit. But anyways, Dad, do you remember, I was noticing this last time I was over here, the throttle. Now, that I'm not sure about. Um, it does, it, it, for, a, for a super, that's not the right throttle. I'm thinking, well, she went through a part of a fire too when they the other guy had it okay and it might have got changed in that process yeah but I can't remember whether it come through with that or not now one of them we had did not like the throttle you had to kind of keep your hand on it right to keep right it going and I don't yeah. it could have been the other one okay just our three or something yeah well your jet star three was a, was a was a um a low band or uh you know a regular yeah. pre pre super 
Yeah, because so. that's what he traded on. This one was the Jetstar 3. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're they're a nice tractor, too. But yeah, now we're... That, that was uh, low to the ground. And right. He kind of wanted to get something a little bit higher. Yeah. With, you know, Jetstar 3, the 28-inch tires, you know, you spin twice when you're plowing, you're, you're stuck. Yeah, with a, with a mounted <laughs> plow. We yeah. stuck quite, right. quite a lot. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, uh... Be- that was before the farm was tiled. So. Yeah. It wasn't tiled all that long ago. It has been 10 years now since you... Uh, not quite. Not no, quite 10 years? Pretty close. Okay. Yeah, since it's got tiled. So when where we're at, you know, you, you've seen around my house is quite sandy, and I have some wet areas, even though it's sandy. But, you know, I live... Let's see, it's three, four... You know, we're about five miles away from the farm, and the farm has got almost every dirt you can imagine on it. You know, where we're standing is... A, well, this is kind of clayish, but... Where, where his house is, it's kind of sandy and gravelly, but most of it is clay. And uh, um, there's some there's some springs on the farm, you know, with a ditch going through it. So um, not really anything to really show, I guess. But um, well, there's a big lake behind the farm, and yep. that kind of keeps the springs up. When mm-hmm. the lake is up, the springs come up. It's it's kind of a, a recreational lake. There's quite a few houses around around it. Um, they that when it was put in it was they were basically put in as cottages but a lot now a lot of them are permanent residents but anyways there's an inlet and an outlet well on the outlet they do have a dam on there so they kind of control the water um if there wasn't a dam on there the water table would be down and the lake wouldn't be what it is probably so you know it's just something you have to live with so but that keeps the water level up around the lake too so but anyways this, um, this tractor was my automobile for a while. Okay. Until I got my driver's license. All right. So you took this is the one you took ice I fishing. Took, no, I took it fishing. Just, well, yeah, fish? I actually had it on the lake a yeah. little ways. Yeah. But I shouldn't have. But yeah. But uh, this is the one where there's another couple lakes around us, about three miles away, and my buddy caught a great big pike, and I'd never seen anything that big. And I reached down, and it flopped up in the air, and one of the other hooks got me in the finger. Oh, so I drove gosh. home with a 30-inch pike on my finger. <laughs> yeah, that'd have been, so, uh, that'd have been interesting. Yeah. You know, it's good. <laughs> Imagine if they had had cell phones and TikTok and all that stuff at that time, you know, video and, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that hurt. I, I, I bet. I bet. flopping around. Yeah, and you didn't even catch the fish. It caught no, you. It caught me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Huh, I just noticed something. You're missing a brace on that M670 here. Um, they want to come back this way. I, I've got some. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of like a squirrel, apparently, or something. I don't know. Yeah, got a few but, of them, too. Yeah. I mean, real. Yeah, that one's missing a sway block, too. No, it's in the shed. Oh, okay. You got that one? Put that ditcher on it. We took that off. Oh, okay. Yeah. My brother did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not, not mulling, Jeremy? No, no. <laughs> Um. Anyway, so you still want to repaint this one someday, or? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Some, sometime. Yeah. Not as big a hurry. I like to get some of these green ones painted too, though. Yeah. Right. And the old ones back there. Yeah. All right. I don't know. The, that old ZA over there. That, that's real nice original paint. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's a nice driving track. Yeah, I know it, Dad. We we searched and searched um, for a nice late model ZA because he wanted one of the pressure age radiator cap. Um, you guys used to have a 51, well, 52, didn't you? My dad had that 51Z when he okay. come down when he moved down here in 55. Okay. He bought it brand new in 51 or okay. whatever it was there, 52 or 51. Did that come from Bartnick's or did that no, come from that, uh, somewhere else? That come from Carroll. Okay. That was Haynes? Haynes. Haynes. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Interesting. He bought that and he bought a Model 69. Combine? Moline Combine. Okay. Yeah, he was in... Uh, he he was pretty high on the hog there when he had them babies at Wisconsin four cylinder Wisconsin. Yeah, I can remember trying to start that old baby. You get her running, you didn't shut it off. Yeah, because once it got warm, it didn't want to start again. Yeah, they're kind until of the next day. Kind of known for that, I guess. But they were they were quite the machine in their day. That's yeah. for sure. Nothing compared to nowadays. Even hobby farmers have <laughs> something bigger than that. Yeah. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's an interesting story. <laughs> another another interesting story. This tractor here, 
uh, 67 M670. Bought that from a buddy in Will, uh, buddy in Iowa. His name is Will. But anyways, <clears throat> they didn't have this seat on it, and that's not the correct seat. Yeah, I know it. How, how many of you get? Has, does that drive you nuts? See that that and the same frame, but. <laughs> He put a lawnmower seat on there. Did I put that on there for you? Um, but anyways, we'll get that changed someday. Um, I need that on the lawnmower. Where was we? We left. I was in Minnesota with a trailer, right? We went out to southwest Minnesota, drop off some parts. Or what did we do? We must have went out. I can turn the tractor up there. And picked up the engine for the 955. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's what it was. That's right. Okay. Thank you, Jake. Jake was with, with me. That was quite an evening. So... Well, anyways, so we got to my buddy Will's at, it must have been like 9 or 10 o'clock, and he wanted to make a supper. So, and I think he had it done long before we got there, but anyways, so we ate, we ate, got, got the tractor loaded, we ate, um, headed out, you know, this, so this is, you know, after 10 o'clock at night, it's dark out. It was summertime, that I do remember. It hot, yeah, it was hot, and I had my old pickup, that it, well, two pickups ago. But anyways, the AC didn't work very well at that time. Um, yep. All right. Okay. Nicholas wants you to know that it's his truck. We're we're buying that truck back from. I I sold it to a friend of mine, and well, we're buying it back. Um, it huh? We're no. It silver. No, we're not paying it silver. All right. Well, anyways, I'm gonna lose my train of thought, and I see my battery's getting low. But anyways, so we got just in back into I think it was Illinois, the first rest stop. And uh, I pulled over to take a nap uh, right there on on 80, <laughs> and I can I remember seeing these or hearing these birds. I'd wake up and I could hear the birds, and I woke up and the birds had eaten the seat. I mean, not completely off, but they got into the foam and it was using it for nest or something. I don't know, but I I remember that it was hotter and I'll get up. We had to I had the window down a little bit because it's so hot. Started then it started oh. thunderstorm. Yeah, so we had to put the window up. That's the right. Tornadoes there too? No, not that time. Not that time. Oh, no. So, but <laughs> anyways, well, I better change my battery before it dies on me. Stand by. Okay, we're back. Battery is changed. Dad, you want to tell? You know, people have uh, commented quite a bit about your fifty twenty John Deere. Yeah. You know what do you what do you want to talk about this tractor? Any, anything you want to say about it? I mean, it's a well, she's just been a good old girl. Yep. She doesn't hardly take any fuel. Yep. Uh, she just works all the time. Yep. Uh, it's a little noisy. Yeah. <laughs> it helps when you don't hear good. I have earmuffs on and everything else I can put over my ears. Yep. But uh, she, uh, she's she been a good girl. Yep. Let's see. We had, you had to get the fuel pump rebuilt. I changed that. Yeah. yeah. It, yep. it took one spring off. All right. This is, uh, you saw in a, uh, the last video I, I uh, posted, I had that tool for the Rusa Master, you know, for that umbrella seal. This tractor's Y. I had that to put that on his, this one. So, yeah. But, because uh, I, yeah, I put that pump on without doing that. Uh, here's, let me get the other side real quick here. <clears throat> nope, I guess I can't get the other side very well. But, anyways, the pump's over here. <laughs> yeah, Dad, your tractor needs a bath. Well, anyways, I put this. Ooh. It got cold by the time we got done. Yeah, I know what. Um, I put that pump on just like I did the 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 950 there, and I folded over that umbrella seal. Well, if you don't, what happens is it lets fuel bite go right through there, and it'll get right in your crankcase oil. So, luckily, Dad is in the habit of checking his oil every time he starts the tractor. And notice it was getting thin and over over full, so um, and he could smell it. So we we had to change the oil and uh, we took care of that. But boy, how, how long you had this old soil saver? Where's the where's all the discs that go on in front? Well, we took them off. Oh, we just use it mostly on bean ground now. No, it's just a chisel plow instead of yeah. a soil saver. Yeah. yeah, this used to have you know a, a set of straight disc in front of it here forever and ever. Well, that was on the 50 can. What do, you, what do you got going on there? Well, I found that in the barnyard when I was cleaning up around that one. That's off a wheelbarrow, isn't it? Uh, off the silo. The silo filler? Silo filler, yeah. Oh. I Jeez. Think, right? Yeah. Up that I see. Day I, had, I was working around. <laughs> wow. Uh, 
I don't know. It might be, but I, I might. That's pretty. That's pretty. I don't think that. Well, I don't know. Interesting. That could be. It does look like a wheel, but off of the uh, off an old wheelbarrow. But whatever. Anyways, there. Now we get the other side of this tractor. This tractor come out of uh, Sandusky, Michigan. I, I hauled it home for him. And I didn't take the duels off. I probably should have back then. But that's a long time ago. I don't even have that trailer anymore. But yeah, I was a little white and heavy. But yeah, the beast of a tractor. Um, it's, of course, it's a synchro transmission. I don't think I've ever heard of a 5020 with a power shift. I don't. I don't think they made them. Don't. Don't quote me on that. But you, John Deere guys, you can confirm or deny. How's that? But I'm pretty sure. They only had synchros, so. Hey, another tractor to show you real quick. Dad's 4010 John Deere. You know, it's really a, <laughs> really a, you know, 4010s were a tractor that really helped, helped John Deere back in the 60s there, that's for sure. I know it's dark, kind of dark in here. Dad's never, never put electricity out here, but 4010 diesel. Of course, it's got a synchro, that cab. This is the, Really good starting tractor. He loves this tractor. He plows snow with it a lot of times in the winter time. Um, but does have a an aftermarket front end on it. That's the only thing he doesn't like about it. Um, oh, I'm trying to think what kind that is. But it's not a, it's not a Schwartz. It's something else. But they're 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 a lot lighter than the the factory John Deere ones. Easy to tell right here. It's a kind of a flat piece right there well of course you look at that too but anyways loves loves that tractor what you guys looking at i thought i seen a skunk you thought you seen a skunk yeah well you might have yeah yeah uh, I, 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 hey we, we we don't need to confirm <laughs> it's a skunk you know what i'm saying so huh yeah it could be could be so you just had the combine running? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, to move it? You just to move it? Just yeah. The, the, my main uh, concentration in the video is I wanted to show you the shirts. Get your opinion on it. I guess, uh, you know, what do you think? You know, it has uh, 1050 and a 950 on the front here. Um, that was kind of a little tractor ride that I put together. It was just family last year. and it's, That's what the picture is from. And Jacob made that, which is pretty cool. Then, uh, you know, my friends there from New York, you know, help me out with, help me out the rest. There, this is kind of a hobby of theirs. They don't want to do, you know, big mass quantity orders or production. So they're, they're happy to help with this initial stuff. Um, but uh, I still got to figure out, you know, if I do do merchandise, how do I sell them? You know, what platform or, you know, how do I take orders and how do I collect money and how do I do shipping and all that stuff. And I'm... We'll, we'll figure that out, you know, here shortly if, you know, i got to figure out how much it's going to cost me, you know, to sell them to you, you know, and i got to be, you know, make, make a profit of somehow, you know, and i got to figure out, you know, you, how much do you write it up or, you know, I don't know, there's, there's a lot to figure out and I'm learning that there's a lot, lot into selling merchandise. So, here's another Minneapolis only plow, bought it for dad to put on that, put on that OZA and uh he had to have it so we got it well right here's where i unloaded it it hasn't moved <laughs> so yeah this is a mechanical lift on this one um yeah <clears throat> but i don't think it'll take much to get her going it's got the points on it has for points i see okay yeah two bottom rope trip you know mechanical lift so That'd be kind of neat to need to get that out too. Buddy Nate wants to have a plow day. But well, anyways, I think that's probably enough for this little video. This will probably come out tomorrow um, for you. So, anyways, oh, I'll uh, just a reminder about the uh, Laverne, um, Minnesota show coming up here in a few weeks. It's in the Laverne, Minnesota, which is all the way to the west side of Minnesota. I'll be there. So my dad and uh, my cousin Pat and uh, my buddy Nate's supposed to be going. Hopefully all those guys can keep coming, you know, or be able to go, I should say. Uh, three of us, 
for sure. It will we'll be there one way or another. Um, hope hope to see you there. Um, but uh, you know that's uh, something you'll you'll see all kinds of videos of. You know I'll video the uh, the tours as much as I can, and then also you know video stuff at the show to show you about what goes on at these shows. And if if you're into any, I don't care what kind of tractor you're into. I would suggest that you join those groups, um, you know, the, the collector groups. I know, you know, John Deere's got them, uh, you know, Al Chalmers, you know, you know, Gathering the Orange or whatever they call it there, the Orange, uh, uh, whatever. In, anyways, you know, the uh, um, International has theirs, Oliver has a really big, good show that they have, you know, every, every year, too. Um, it just, uh, if, if you're into collecting tractors or have any kind of interest, it's a great way to network with people who are interested in the same thing. Then you also, you know, get relationships for finding parts or, you know, people who are willing to help you find parts for your tractor or paint or, 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 or whatever or buying and selling. You know, it's just, uh, they're, they're all a great community, uh, you know, minded people that it's it's well worth your few dollars a year membership and a lot of them you probably don't even have to have membership to go to the shows and stuff um i know like the minneapolis moline clubs you need to be a member to sell things at their auction in the winter um which is not a big deal i think minneapolis moline one is 40 bucks something like that a year you know you get a magazine a calendar and there's other things too but to me you know and you know the only mmci gives out a uh actually they give out more than one scholarship a year you know um, and fortunately for us jacob actually applied and was awarded uh a thousand dollar scholarship so i would recommend um i'll try to post uh, the mmci's uh, website in my description for you hopefully i remember if not google mmci um you know i would put moline also in that search so that'll uh help you get right to i think it's minneapolis moline collectors.org i think but don't quote me i'll put it i'll figure it out and i'll put it in the description but highly recommend great group of people and like i said um a great resource for parts and just like i said like-minded people who you know have an appreciation for the prairie gold so um all right well <laughs> I think I've gave them a, a nice a nice enough plug. They're not a paid subscriber or, any, or a paid um, uh, advertisement, anyways, for them. But you know, I just you know it's something I believe in and uh, I feel strong about. So yeah, check check those people out or you know whatever color that uh, uh, of tractor you know manufacturer you're into. Check check out the 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 uh, national you know collector or organization. Of that manufacturer so all right well i appreciate you guys watching we'll see you in the next one